calibration of biophysical variables retrieval models and their performance assessment. There are two main approaches, the empirical models and the physically based models using radiative transfer modeling. The empirical models are calibrated on a specific set of reference data or ground observation. They are based on statistical regression or machine learning relationship between the spectral index value and the corresponding ground reference values. Once the model is calibrated, the validation aims to estimate the prediction error of the model using a fully independent dataset. The graph on the right shows the matching between the GAI, ground measurement, and their corresponding values estimated from the satellite observation using a stepwise multivariate regression. This is very important to understand that empirical models are locally calibrated and can be very efficient, but are only valid for the area and the conditions corresponding to the data set that they use. And the opposite, the physically based models are much more complex, but transferable to other, area, to other areas and other conditions as they are designed to be very generic. Indeed, physically based models are much more complex as they are built on radiative transfer modeling. These radiative transfer models are built on a detailed description of the structural and optical properties at the leaf level or at the entire vegetation canopy level. These models are able to simulate the absorption, the transmittance, and the reflectance of the canopy for any spectral band, for all sun incident angle, and all viewing geometries. For the leaf level, the prospect radiative transfer model is the most popular one, which is used in the BVNet toolbox that we will introduce here. For each possible value of a biophysical variables and each observation angle, the spectral reflectance is simulated. All these simulations and the corresponding biophysical variable values are then used to train and to calibrate an artificial neuronal network, ANN model, to invert the process. This calibration neuronal network, this calibrated neural network can then be used to retrieve from the satellite observation the biophysical variables value corresponding to this reflectance and this observation geometry. The model performance can be quantified at the model level by using only the input and output of the model, as you can see on the right side of the image. But to do the validation, a proper validation, we need to compare the biophysical variable estimated by satellite observation with regards to actual reference ground measurement, like here on the graph below. The performance can be further understood by using a set of metrics like the mean absolute error, the root mean square error, the bias, the error standard deviation, or the relative root mean square error. The graph on the left used dot colors to indicate the crop development stage corresponding to the sum of temperature along the season. It shows rather bigger error for the more yellowish, yellowish points, 
which correspond to the most advanced canopy development stages. The right graph shows the explanation by plotting the GAI error according to the development stages and showing that for the full development stages and the plant senescence stage, we can find the most contributing error in the model. Furthermore, the performance analysis can focus on the bias specifically showing the overestimation for the early stages and the underestimation for the later stages. This analysis of the relative rune mean square error is also very interesting on the right. It demonstrates that the relative error is minimum during the key development stage from the stem elongation to the flowering and the grain filling. This is very important to know this kind of difference of error to make the best use of this biophysical variable estimation. All these results presented here concern, of course, the winter wheat, but they are very illustrative of how performance assessment can be completed. Indeed, it is of critical importance to always consider to validate the result of any modeling approach, as well as to validate for your own area any biophysical variable products that you may find from various websites. Before using a biophysical variable product, please make sure that you read the validation report of the product you intend to use.